Hey guys, back again with another SpaceX Starship update. Since the last post, a few interesting developments have happened at the site in Boca Chica. On September 17, 2019, a new tapered ring was spotted. There are a few theories as to what this new ring could be. The leading theory is that it's a replacement section for the nose cone fairing. On Wednesday night of this week, September 18, 2019, the big crane on the site was spotted on the move, positioning itself near the upper section of Mark 1. It now seems that SpaceX could have actually been working on a replacement fairing section for the nose cone. If that is the case, it's possible that we can see the crane remove the existing tapered fairing in the coming days and replace it with the new fairing. The crane though has been in that position for over 24 hours, which has been a little unnerving for fans, leading some SpaceX fans to speculate that perhaps the crane is just warping the fairing into the correct shape. That theory doesn't really explain why there's an extra ring though. Whatever the case with the fairing, it's a prime example of SpaceX rapid prototyping and quick iteration techniques. Being able to rapidly assess a problem, devise a solution, and execute on that solution in just a matter of days. We'll have to wait for a few more hours to see how this nose cone fairing situation plays out. The giant crane is also in a new position, which could indicate that SpaceX might be getting ready to connect the upper section and lower section of Starship Mark 1. A recently released photo by Alex Delterfield shows an amazing edit of what Starship might look like after construction is completed. In terms of construction at the build and launch sites in Boca Chica, well, there's a lot happening. At this point in time, construction on the sides of the windbreak, also referred to as Iron Hinge, is almost done. It looks like there are just a few more panels that need to be added to the back of the structure. SpaceX is also continually working on preparing the launch and landing pads for Phase 2 testing, which could happen as early as October 13, 2019 with the 20 kilometer test of Starship Mark 1. On September 19, the team at Boca Chica received more roll lifts, which will be extremely instrumental in moving Mark 1 from the build site to the launch site. At the launch site, crews also received the delivery of a liquid oxygen tank. Things are really shaping up for Elon's Starship presentation. The site is also being prepared for Elon's presentation which could probably take place in the small tent. We're literally on the countdown for Elon's Starship presentation on September 28th. And I mean guys, things are already starting to look pretty awesome as to how it might go on that day. On September 14, over last weekend, a cylindrical structure was spotted being brought onto the site. Since it doesn't really look like it belongs with Starship Mark 1 due to its dimensions, some SpaceX fans are speculating that it can actually be a complete Falcon 1 first stage. I think that's a pretty good guess. It does look very similar dimension-wise to Falcon 1's first stage, at least by what we can see from photos. And the date of Elon's presentation, September 28, is exactly 11 years since the first successful Falcon 1 orbital flight. So it sort of fits with the whole narrative as a piece of historical significance. Significance. A Merlin engine was also spotted on the scene about a week ago. Since Starship uses Raptor engines, we know that that has to be for something else. And what's the best guess right now? Again, Elon's presentation. At the Hyperloop competition back in July 2019, SpaceX had a Merlin and Raptor engine on side by side display. So maybe something similar is going to happen on the 28th. In any case, it would make for a pretty great photo op. The juxtaposition will create quite the image, showing just how far SpaceX has gone since its founding in 2002 to the company's current day progress in 2019. SpaceX wants to buy Boca Chica Village. Business Insider recently obtained a proprietary offer letter from Boca Chica residents. In the letter, SpaceX offers to buy residents' homes at three times the independently appraised fair market value. The offer is non-negotiable and expires on September 26. The letter is dated September 12. In the document, SpaceX also offers an additional perk to residents. The company offers to provide future VIP access to residents who choose to accept the offer. Here's an excerpt from the letter. SpaceX recognizes that your close proximity to its operations have offered a unique opportunity to experience at close hand the development of what will be the world's most advanced rocket. In appreciation of your support, we will offer all residents of the village who accept the purchase offer the opportunity to continue their connection with the development of Starship by extending an invitation to attend future private VIP launch viewing events that are unavailable to the public. What an incredible opportunity to live in Boca Chica Village at this moment in history. 
Despite the offer and its perks though, some residents are still reluctant to sell. According to Business Insider, many of the residents may not accept the company's offer. At least a third of the properties in the area are owned by just 10 residents, so it sort of matters quite a bit who decides to sell and who doesn't. There is a CBS segment that offers a balanced view of what it's like for residents of the area. Here's a clip from that. could be building a spaceship to take people to Mars right next door to you, and that's exciting. Oh gosh, yes. Yeah, you, when you're juicing your oranges and you're looking out at a spaceship, I would be talking to my mom going, Can you believe this? She was thrilled. But when she thinks about the future of space here, she worries about her own. It's bittersweet. This was supposed to be the forever house, and now it's not. Now it's not. Now, let's check in on Coco. Two joint rings were spotted on the ground on September 19. And well, in the previous video, I mentioned that the completed forward bulkhead was spotted in the shop. So it now appears that the joint ring and the forward bulkhead will be mated sometime soon. So the team in Coco is not too far behind the team in Boca Chica. The team in Coco is also going to significantly benefit from lessons learned from the nose cone fairing on Mark 1. So it still looks like Mark 2 will be completed not too long after Mark 1. The rate of progress at SpaceX is so astronomical. Pun intended. Every day, it seems like the company takes a giant leap towards the future. It's quite interesting to watch all this happen and see all of it play out. It's like getting an education in rapid prototyping and manufacturing techniques. I mean, the world's most advanced rocket is literally being built right in view of the public. At least the external structure anyway. The future is really coming into view. SpaceX has multiple major projects going on right now. NASA recently released video from a completed test of SpaceX's Crew Dragon parachute system. A lot is happening with Starlink. Morgan Stanley recently estimated that Starlink could make SpaceX a $120 billion company in the future. This might be enough to fund a Mars colony, or at least significantly fund it. Yusaku Mizawa, or MZ, just sold his stake in his company Zozo to Yahoo Japan for $2.2 billion to focus on astronaut training for his 2023 trip around the moon to realize the Dare Moon project. The timeline SpaceX has are really aggressive, but for now, things really look like they are falling into place. The future might be closer than we think.